Hey, yo, this is the Snake Man back. And what I got right here is the Texas Brown Snake. Storeria decay Texana. One of the smallest snakes in Louisiana. Probably the largest of the smallest of the small woodland snakes we got in Louisiana next to maybe the ring neck snakes, the worm snakes, the earth snakes, and probably the pygmy rattlesnakes, and the pine woods litter snake. Some of the, one of the smallest snakes here in the state of Louisiana. And act up, believe it or not, this is actually a fully grown specimen. This thing is probably around six inches long. There is a rumor that there has been one recorded up to two and a half feet long. And I think I've seen a picture of it too. It was like on a pier and someone was holding up the thing with the end of a fishing rod. There are three species of brown snakes in Louisiana. You have this one, Texas brown snake. You have the Midland brown snake and then the marsh brown snake. This one, you can tell the difference. This is tell this the Texas brown snake. Take a good look at the head. Can you focus in on the head? Yeah, you see two black spots. Motherfucker mosquito got your ass. I dare you. Mmm. Bitch. Anyway, if you look on the head, there are two black spots on the head. One is by the eye and one's on the corner of the head. On a middle end brown snake, there'll only be one black spot, and that's the one, the, one, the one on the cheek. There wouldn't be a black spot under the eye, or that, tear, that classic teardrop spot under the eye. And on a marsh brown snake, there would be no black spots at all. It would be a, just a plain brown snake. And also on a middle end brown snake, you can, would see, you can see shadows on the back, but on the middle end brown snake, there would be... Prominent saddles going, saddle markings going down the back. Also, the Texas brown snake is the larger of the brown snakes and the more common of them. Now, I've catched them long, long enough. Think, I haven't, I haven't made this. I'm just think, think, guessing this up. They become more active around around dusk, which is around the same time copperheads become active. I caught this one yesterday. I don't know, what, 7 o'clock yesterday? It was like 6. Yeah, about 6 o'clock. 6.30. No, that was 7, because I came home mm -hmm. at 7. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. I know. <laughs> around, around 7. Right after 7.30. Yeah, you got a little car on his tail. It's coming around active around dusk. And people see a small brown snake, they immediately think around dust. People know copperhead, that, that's when copperheads become active. Small brown snake, they probably think it would be a copperhead. Or people think it might be a pigment rattle snake. Or people, people, some people call them ground rattlers. So they kill it. My uncle almost came and chopped his head off. <laughs> they feed on things like earthworms and insects and slugs, stuff like that. And if they get large enough, they'll feed on cricket frogs. There's a mosquito on your hand. You just had to say it. You didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mosquito on your hand. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> the habitat isn't really specific. Woods like woods like this, they prefer. <clears throat> they prefer <clears throat> shit. For woods like this, I catch them in my yard all the time. And my yard ain't ain't really shit. Bunch of grass, shit like that, trees, that's normal going yard. Huh? Like a normal yard. Like a normal yard. <laughs> so, they're not really habitat specific for snakes. You, they're, they, they're extremely common snakes. One of the most common snakes I've come across next to yellow belly water snakes, diamondback water snakes, western cottonmouths. I'm scared about Carol. Fucking. And southern black racers. Most common snakes I've come across. And one of the most small shit. One of the most small things that come across. And what I think is absolutely adorable. I had a, two baby Texas brown snakes one time. They were so mean and aggressive. 